What's up, everybody? Welcome back to A Real Talk with your boy, JT. I pray you are all doing well on this blessed, blessed Friday as we off top give the most high all the honor, the glory, and all praise and worship. Hot topic. Mm. As a man, as a husband, should I always wear my wedding band? Wedding ring. Mm. This is a video response back to you, um, 403. Um, I love your email. Let me say this off top because everybody's different and some of us are the same when it comes to this topic um, and doing this. This ring is not what keep us together. It ain't even the license that keep me and my baby Diddy together. And we got a, we got a true understanding on that because we understand the Most High's covenant husband and wife coming together to be one flesh. But there are men who wear their ring and there are men who don't wear their ring. There are women who wear their ring and there are women who don't wear their ring. Especially in a lot of our older generation um, of people, they, care, they a lot of them didn't care for a ring. Some of them did, but the majority of them I know never cared for a wedding ring. They've been together so long and then you got people that put more emphasis on the wedding than the covenant. You got people that put more emphasis on the baby showers versus the bridal shower. You got people that get married for a big show. I mean, think about how long the marriages in Hollywood actually last. So for me, the reason I like wearing my ring is to let the ladies know I'm taking. It's a sign, even though the majority of them don't care nothing for it. They don't care that you married. They still holler at you and try to get you to go home with them, especially as a musician. But I let them know. Or some of them make a joke and be like, oh, I see you married. You still want to do something? No. Because why would I risk one night with you to mess up something I got so great at home? And I'm not trying to get off in these soul ties. So for me, I wear mine. Do I have to wear it? No. Do it bother me if I don't wear it? No. And it's a reminder, you know, but at the same time, when you think about so many people who are married, a lot of them are married, separated. A lot of them are married and got somebody else, staying with somebody else, but still married. See, I don't want no part of none of that because those are dangerous games. You know how many people that got killed behind that stuff? See, I, I can't, this, this new stuff that's going on and old stuff, I just can't get I can't get down with it, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because I was brought up to to uh, do it the right way, the right way. And marriage is nothing easy about it. It's it's a, it's a test. It's one of the hardest jobs you're gonna ever have. If you are married, you're gonna say amen. But your marriage is what you make out of it. And then uh, another thing, don't try to base your marriage off somebody else's marriage. Just cause she doing this or he doing that, that's them. You do what you got to do for your family, your wife, your husband. Stop looking at everybody else. And one thing I love about me, me and Didi, we have a true understanding. See, when you really read and study the Bible and understand the covenant of Yah, your marriage, can't nobody break that up. Nobody. Now, a lot of people got married, um, Back in the day, y'all didn't have the Holy Spirit. Got married to their high school sweetheart, and then they ain't even together no more. Some married their high school sweetheart, and they still together. It's just each of their own, different situations. But the ring is not what keep me together once again. Do I have a problem with men that don't wear their ring? No. I don't at all. Because I understand it ain't the ring, but... Like I said, I'm just speaking for myself, and that's a great question you asked me in these emails. 
for me and myself, I keep mine on. You know, because it it just some women, I gotta say that right. Some women will respect that, you know. And I even do things like this when when one of them try to holler at me, I say, <laughs> uh, I do that across my face so they can see it. And they'll laugh like, boy, you a fool. Yeah. But I love my wife. I speak highly of my wife. I praise my wife. I don't worship her, but I praise her. Why? Because the Bible say you praise your wife. But it ain't no any, it ain't no any wife, is it? You praise that virtuous woman. It's a lot of strange women out here. Strange. Loose. As the old folks would say, hoish, as the old folk would say. And you have to realize how important is your covenant? Mm. How important is it to you? Because one thing you don't want to do is disrespect the most high. I don't see how people that are still married and, and, and been separated and still with somebody else, I don't see how they do it. Because ain't no way I can do that. Because I, I oh man, I don't want to get, I don't, I don't want to feel the wrath of the Most High on that one. And so many people wonder why their life going down here because they playing that dangerous game. I remember years ago, this this um, dude I used to work with, um, he got killed. He was married, man, twenty some years, but he had a side chick, and the side chick was crazy. And he would always tell me how you know I. You know, I'm still married, but but I don't, I don't, I ain't never trying to go back home to my wife. We got to understand it. They got to understand it, but they didn't have a biblical understanding. And that girl he was with was crazy. She wanted him to leave his wife. He wouldn't. And they they was tolerating it for a while. But she 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 said that if I can't have you to myself. And I'm gonna kill you and kill myself. What you think she did? She killed him. And then she turned around and killed herself. She stabbed him while he was asleep, just stabbed him up. Just kept stabbing him. Then she took the knife and stabbed herself up. Both of them dead. This is why I keep saying, man, there's too many dangerous games out here, y'all. Soul ties ain't no joke. These demons ain't no joke. Transferring spirits ain't no joke. Releasing inside each other ain't no joke. I suppose they've been talking about the ring, huh? But see how all this ties in together. Because when you once again understand why the Most High designed it that way, to be one flesh, to become one, I mean, do you realize when you are married and operating in the Holy Spirit, how you knock the, the devil out in so many ways? Because when you don't have that covenant, you don't have no protection. You're just doing what the folks in the world do a lot of times. So no, I don't have an issue with people that men or women that don't wear their ring. That's, you know, what you choose is what you choose. I always say, long as you and your wife got an understanding about it, um, it's, it's good. I remember I, I heard Kevin Gates say that a long time ago about why he don't wear a ring. You know, why I say everybody is different and some may do the same thing, some may not. You know, but I, I tell people all the time, this do not keep my covenant together. It don't. This is materialistic. This ring what I got the ring on or off, I'm gonna still be faithful to my wife. I'm still gonna tell people I'm married. I'm still gonna tell people. Now, once upon a time, um, after I had the stroke, I was, you know, when, when you lose weight, go up and down, lose weight, your body going through so much, I couldn't even put the ring on my finger. It would get tight, it would get loose. Somebody know what I'm talking about. I just say, man. But like I say, mine purposely is for to keep the women off of me, even though they're going to still come, because I'm just a smooth brother. Maybe, oh, I like your ball. Hey, get off me, ladies. Get off me. Just don't love me like you do. Y'all remember that on Low, on low Down Dirty Shane, Keenan Ivory Wayne. Get off me, ladies. Just don't love me like I'm joking, y'all, but having fun. Y'all know I got a sense of humor, but 
real talk, man, you got to really, really be careful out here. Really be careful out there. You know, a lot of people just doing what they want to do. And they thinking they're getting away with it. But in the eyes of the Holy Spirit, man, it's a dangerous game. So just give me some feedback on this, you know. That's why I say you, you think about it. In the old days, a lot of them didn't even, they didn't care nothing for wearing a ring. And then when you talk, sit down and talk to them, they'd be like, like a lot of the older women, girl, I ain't want no ring in probably 25, 30 years. And it don't bother me. And it don't bother my husband because we had to understand he only want no ring. What ring? Yeah, we probably pawned it to, to get some money to pay a bill with. That's what I would hear all the time. And that shows you true love. See, when you marry, you deal with a whole lot. A whole lot. That's why some so many people be like, man, I want to be, I want to be back single. But I tell you what, I wouldn't trade my marriage life for my single to be back single for nothing in the world. I was happy when I was single, full of joy, but I wasn't complete. That's why I always tell people, man, the Holy Spirit is just speaking through me. That's why I always tell people, don't let so many people tell you because they had a bad marriage that yours ain't going to work. Because nine times out of ten, you got to realize, did they even get married with who they supposed to have been with? Or was they just doing what they wanted to do? See, when I prayed for my queen, Oh, and it wasn't easy. Didi, if Didi was sitting right here, she would tell you, oh, we got married in the roughest of our times. All we had to depend on was the most high and the love that we had for each other. And, and that's, that's why I tell people, when you got the Holy Spirit and you pray together, oh, when I grab my baby and pray for her, or she grabbed me and pray for me, ain't nothing we can't accomplish because we turning it over to the Holy Spirit. Oh, we done had a lot of dark, uh, dark days, sleepless nights, challenges, ups and downs, she being sick, me being sick, all the stuff that come with being married. Y'all, to the married people, y'all know what I'm talking about. And that's why you got to be there to build each other up, lift each other up, not tear each other down. And by me with my crazy sense of humor, oh, I can't stay mad. I laugh it off. I'm going to joke it off. That devil, that devil always trying to get in me. Try always. Because the devil loves to attack a marriage very hard because he knows what they can do when you don't want a card. It tears him down. He got to move around and go somewhere else. And that's why I tell him, you might well find you another house to go to, brother. Because you are the accuser of the brother. You are, your job is to kill, steal, and destroy. But you might well keep it moving, brother, because what? What the most high put together in this house, can't no man break apart. No devil, no nothing. And that's why I fight hard. I love my family. See, I went from being single to gaining the whole family, and I love it. Man, my, my baby girl, my young, my young son, my oldest daughter, Gabby, it's, it's a part of me that I needed. And I wouldn't do nothing. Absolutely nothing to mess that up because y'all bless me with them. All of that. And the roughest of my sickness, oh man, I'm, I'm trying not to get teary out thinking about it because y'all know my story. Y'all know how Jay came out, wasn't even breathing. Y'all know I, I had had that stroke. Y'all know Dee Dee was almost pretty much paralyzed. It was a tough pregnancy, a tough birth. I almost wanted to name him Jabez or Jabez. Y'all know the, the, the one in the Bible that gave his mom a hard time. The prayer of Jabez, Jabez. How you want to how you want to pronounce it? That's that's how I feel about baby J. Pain. Look up his name and see what it means. But with that being said, just 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 once again, do what's right. Have an understanding with each other, like the Bible says, and all I get, not some, not a few, but in all I get, and we have to get a understanding, y'all. So with that being said, some men wear their ring, some don't.
But as I said more than once in this video, it's not the ring that keeps you together. It's the Holy Spirit. I haven't said this in probably a few years now, but y'all remember how I used to close out my videos? I would say only two imperfect people. Catch what I'm saying. Only the Holy Spirit can take, not perfect, but two imperfect people, put them together and keep them together. That's why he said, a man that finds his wife find a good thing, then Yah shows favor on that. A man shall leave his father and mother to cleave to his wife. That's scripture. Who can find a virtuous woman? Question mark. Bible say who can find? Then you know that's how hard it is to find a virtuous woman. So with that being said, I love y'all. Y'all take care. And y'all have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day. Shalom.